Hello, thanks for checking out our videos. In today's video, we are going to go over how to install a Gendex GXS700 dental imaging sensor into our Windows 7 workstation and how to get that to integrate with the X-ray Vision imaging software. In order to perform these steps, of course, we do need X-ray Vision installed onto our workstations. We do need X-ray Vision installed and configured on our data server. We need our map drives shared out onto our data server and we need them mapped onto all of our workstations. If you haven't completed those steps yet, check out our other videos on how to do those steps. The first thing that we need to do to install the Gendex GXS700 is to have the Gendex Twain driver. To download the Gendex Twain driver, we can go to gendex.com forward slash software dash drivers and if we scroll down you will see under GX picture the GX picture 3.5.3 driver all you have to do to download this driver is simply right click save link as choose a convenient location for your download desktop would work just fine and then click on save First step will be to open the GX Picture Suite, which we have downloaded to our desktop here. This will open up the folder. We can go ahead and double click on the 3.5.3 GX Picture application. Go ahead and click Run. Once that pops up, we can go ahead and leave English highlighted, or you can choose the language of your choice. Click Next. The GX Picture Driver Suite will prepare to install the software. Once we are to this page, we will choose the GX Twain. And this GX Twain is what will allow us to use the GenX sensor in the X-ray vision software. On this screen, you'll need to read through the license agreement. Once you are sure that you can accept the terms of the license agreement, check I accept and click next. Here is where we will choose which items we would like to install. We are going to select the GX Twain driver and we will also select the GXS 700 driver. Click next. Then we can click install and let the program run. Now that the GX driver suite has completed, we can click next. Once we finish this installation, before we plug the sensor in to our computer, we will need to install the calibration files or correction files. You should have received the calibration files with your sensor when you purchased it. If you do not have these files, you will need to contact the Gendex tech support team to get your correct calibration files. So we'll click Next, and then we can finish. Now that the GX Picture Suite is installed, we can go ahead and close this window and move on to installing the calibration files. Okay, now that we have the GX Picture Suite installed onto our workstation, we can go ahead and install the calibration files for our sensor. We can do this by simply putting in the Gendex calibration disk that you received with your sensor. My calibration files are already copied to my desktop, so I am going to run them from this folder here. So we'll go ahead and run the GXS700 calibration file installation. Go ahead and click Next, Next, and Install. The installation only takes a quick moment. We can click Finish, and we're done with that step. The next step that we need to take is to download the Gendex installer from the X-ray Vision website. So we're going to go to aptrix.com. We'll go to Updates. We'll scroll down and go to Imaging Devices. We can just click on the letter G here, and it will sort and bring us down to Gendex. 
we can see that for the sensor, we're going to want to choose the Gendex sensor updater. Simply click 10.0 build 4. We'll choose our download location. I'm going to download to my desktop. Click Save. That should be a fairly quick download since the file is pretty small. Now before we run the Gendex sensor upgrader, we need to make sure that X-ray vision is closed everywhere. So make sure that you go around to all of your workstations and your server and make sure that X-ray vision is not open. Once we've confirmed that X-ray vision is not open anywhere, we can double click the updater and run it. Click next. Once we click next, it will go ahead and add or update any of the files that are required to use the Gendex sensor. We can see everything here is positive. There were no errors. If X-ray vision were to be opened on a different workstation or the server, it would have an error because this upgrader would not be able to update the files that it requires. In that case, you just have to go back around to all your computers, make sure that X-ray vision is closed, and then go ahead and run the updater again. So at this point we can click finish. Now that we have GX picture installed and we have our Gendex sensor upgrader installed and we've also installed the calibration files, we can go ahead and plug our sensor into our USB port to install the drivers to Windows. As you can see in the bottom right corner here, Windows is installing the driver. It should be able to grab the driver that we installed earlier from GX picture automatically and we just need to let it complete. Now that Windows shows us our device is ready to use, we can just confirm installation by clicking on the Start button, right-clicking on My Computer, clicking on the Manage button. This will open our computer management screen. We can simply click on Device Manager and look for our Gendex GXS700 sensor. So we see it's right here. I am in fact using a size 2 GXS700 for this demonstration. So as it stands, everything looks like it has installed correctly. So I will close out of that. And now we can move on to opening X-ray vision and testing the sensor. So we just double click on the X-ray vision icon, click run. Once X-ray vision is open, I'll need to open a patient since we are not able to take images unless patients are open. So I'll open up my test patient here. Now to test the sensor, I'm going to click Capture Sensor. It will show my Gendex sensor is right here. Click OK. Select the teeth that I want to take an image of. It will prepare the Gendex sensor. Sensor ready. And once we go green and it says sensor ready, we are ready to take an image. At this point, the Gendex GXS700 sensor is configured, it's installed in Windows, and ready to be used. We can now move on to all of our other workstations in our office and perform these same steps on each computer to get our Gendex GXS700 sensor to work in X-ray vision. Of course, if you have any questions or if you're having some issues, Feel free to give us a call on our 800 number, 1-800-821-8962. You can send us an email, support at sodiumdental.com, or you can visit our website, sodiumdental.com, and speak to one of our technical support representatives via the chat function on our website. Thanks for watching.